Nagaland Dart Association was formed in the year 2013 and still going strong, but uh, we're yet to catch up with other states as well as uh, in mainland India. Um, competitions are going on. Uh, Kolkata, I, I should say Kolkata uh, is picking up very fast with the Dart community. Um, and here we are uh, participating in Kolkata as well as in Varanasi starting from tomorrow till the 21st. So thank you so much. Uh, I'll, take, I'll give the time to our president. As president, uh, our secretary has highlighted about uh, the inceptions of the Nagat Arts Association way back in 2013. Ever since, we have been trying our best to promote and introduce the dart game uh, wherever possible in the places and other districts. So, till now, uh, the performance and then achievement has been quite satisfactory. And because of that, year by year, our participation at uh, other level of, besides being participating and organizing in the state level, but going outside of the state to participate in national level. The first one being, it's called the PRC, that is Bengal Royal Club uh, Championship Cup, so which will be held from 17 to 21st July. There, 13 daughters from Nagaland will be participating. So they'll be participating in various categories where uh, the players from all over the country will be coming. So the top players, all the top players are uh, supposedly uh, always participate in PRC. So that will be a good opportunity for all the Tartars to test themselves and then excel in, watch in their own, uh, best level. And also there will be international uh, personalities uh, present at Avon. And next one will be coinciding with the PRC Calcutta Avon. There will be another event which is organized by all Indian Dart Associations where they are going to organize three major categories that is, uh, th that is from 19 to 21st July. So the first category being all Indian Ranking Dart Championship 2024 and the next one is selection for WDF, that is World Dart Federation Asia Pacific Cup 2024 which is to be held from between uh, second to sixth to November 2024 at Chinese Taipei, and the third one is the Police Cup. Uh, basically, that is for the police who are having daughters who are from the police background will be participating in the Police Cup for selection to participate at the Games of Hero that is called uh, that is part of the Police World Police and Fire. Games 2025 to be held in Birmingham, Alabama. So we will be aiming for this three particular category. We are participating in all the categories. Two, only two, uh, unluckily, since it is coinciding with the PRC, which has been announced way back, so only two participants are to be, uh, unluckily to participate in the Varanasi event. So with this, that is the details of how the Nagadarts Association's members will be participating in the major events at the national level. So today, as a gesture, as a small gesture of goodwill to the participants, uh, today we will also like to unveil a jersey. As you all know, we are struggling and financially we have been supported only by the members' donations as well as by the will-wishers. So, uh, association cannot do much at the moment, but as a token and carrying the banner of Nagadarts, we would like to uh, unveil the participants' uh, jersey. So, since all, many of them are on the preparations and they, they are busy preparing to, for the onward journey, many of them could not turn up today, but on behalf of all the participants, I would like to request our always Will wishers and then the supporter, big supporter of Nagadarts, the proprietor of Indian Trails, take the honor of unveiling the jersey. And I would request Mr. Vikor, one of the participants, to come and receive the jersey.
so like I've said, uh, 13 will be participating in PRC, including the tone, and then another two will be participating in the Paranasi even. Yeah. Uh, all this may be, in fact, they've been uh, bringing L'Oreal to the state on behalf of the state. Uh, he'll be around 50 plus, so he plays in the veteran category and he's uh, doing good. And uh, from the youth, uh, we have a very promising player. Uh, of course, he's part of the tone team, and we are very, very fortunate that he's catching up the game so, uh, so well. And then he's been, in fact, beating the seniors player. So we, we expect some good result from him. Yeah. Unluckily, we have tried, but once in a while, one or two came forward. But you know, as it comes, it goes away. So. No consistent player at the moment, yeah. We are encouraging to come forward, yeah.